win against the Janair Green Wings. I mean, sure, it was a long game. They, were, they had to go through some hiccups, but <laughs> C I mean, CLG held on for as long as they needed till that victory was there. I mean, they pretty much said, we're not moving until your Nexus is destroyed. I don't care about <laughs> anything else. That's, that's pretty much yeah. how that game went in my eyes. I, this is, oh, go ahead. No, no, please. No. Oh, I'm lost for words. So I'm really you know glad what? you have to say. No, I was kidding. just going to go, I'm lost for words, but no. Well, now you got your point out, so now it's my turn. Good. I'm glad I let you talk first. Yeah, this was, this was especially contrasted to the TSM series just a little bit ago. Uh, what happens when you have a unified voice, when you have an experienced shot caller directing the team? Mm. CLG got pretty far behind early off. Yeah. Very nice plays by Janair. Uh, as far as living up to GBM's legacy, Kuzan played a freaking phenomenal Lissandra game, mm -hmm. first of all, so props to him. And then CLG finding the ways to navigate the rest of the game. They got, what, three Barons this game? Like, they kept the map yeah. control up pretty well. The Zion, or Darshan split push, <laughs> absolutely awesome. And all the veterans did their jobs really, really, really well, and Huhi and Stixay played just well enough to secure the game. Yeah. I like that uh, CLG really stuck to their guns and played to their win condition. They knew that once the Jacks could pretty much beat anybody 1v1 on their team, that it just turned into, hey, let's just kind of like disengage, Vimper's divide, and play back as far as we can and just have the Alistar disengage and just let the right. Jacks win the game for us. And it pretty much did. I, that is exactly what happened. I mean, there were so many moments where it was simply, all right, well, that didn't go so well for CLG, but let's look at what Darshan's doing. Oh, he's doing <laughs> just fine. And then yeah. they went ahead to victory. At the same time, I can't help but wonder, is this partly, you know, Janair making those mistakes where they can't close out the games? I mean, we well, said it was an honest interview. He, yep. you know, Wayne admitted, we're always missing that 1%. We throw games that we're winning. Is that also a factor in this past game? Of course it is. I mean, well, yeah. yeah <laughs> okay, there's always two sides to every story. Well, sorry. <laughs> so the thing that I want to praise Janair for is in, in a similar fashion that CLG really played to their win conditions, Janair did for the large majority of the mid-game press their advantage, get really aggressive, which historically has been something that Janair has struggled with. So the subs clearly making the roster more aggressive, more willing to like snowball these leads and these advantages. But what they didn't really do a good job of recognizing was that they were on a clock. This composition very much needs to find a win early, needs to find that fifth dragon. And and talking about these little mistakes that are going to cost them the game. You know, Che getting caught out once or twice really cost them that fifth dragon earlier on, and CLG getting Baron after Baron to just secure this late game composition win. One thing I also want to point out is uh, that composition is really poorly, they have really poor seeding because they have Callista, a lot of low range type champions, and usually with a composition like that, your win condition is Bait Baron, right? So they have Ash that can hawk shot, and yeah. they also have a blue trinket on top of that. So the window in which you could actually bait the Baron is actually pre pretty small. So that took away a lot of their win condition. Very true. Well, I mean, I think at the end of the day, I think what we do take away here is that, you know what, CLG, it is impressive. Yesterday wasn't just a fluke. The fact that they are playing as a team is very prominent, especially in this game. The communication seems to be there. Hopefully, if you guys are taking part in Alpha Draft, you guys, you know, picked out some players from these games because that was a long game, and this could very well go to three games. Going to get those players with the highest fantasy points currently. So as, of course, having played earlier today, getting 85.8 fantasy points. But, you know, Double Lift, yeah, he's still hanging in there. We'll see um, if anyone else from CLG now starts to go further up and surpasses all of those players that just played this morning and moves onward. Also, don't don't forget, you can catch up on those POV VODs and other highlights on Plays.TV. Relive those moments, and especially, you know, maybe if in that last game you check out just Darshan's POV, what he's doing the whole time, how he's trying to communicate with the rest of the team. That'd be interesting to check out for now, ladies and gentlemen. Don't want to hold you any longer. We're going to go to a break, and when we come back, it will be game number two. See if CLG can win 2-0, or if Jenner Greenwings is going to bring us to our first third game. <laughs> 